Hi, today we'll see the difference between an active FTP and a passive FTP. Alright, so this presentation is being given by me. Uh, then let's dive into the picture. FTP, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. Uh, FTP is based out of TCP and uh, there is no UDP component involved with it. Okay, FTP server listens on port number 21, the command port and uh, port number 20 in FTP is called as the data port okay there are two ways by which FTP work one is active FTP the other one is passive FTP all right let's see about how the active FTP works okay in this scenario what happens is that the client connects to the server on port number 21 okay which is the command port okay the first step okay the client uses some source port which is greater than 1024 and it connects to the server and while connecting what it says is that uh, this is my data port so uh, it gives it generates another uh, port which is greater than 1024 okay and it tells the server that that is its data port the server acknowledges and when the client is trying to request some data the server uses that particular port and sends the data for that particular port and the client acknowledges okay so this is called as active file transfer protocol wherein the data transfer is being actively handled by the server that is the server is initiating the connection now let's let's see the second type which is the passive uh, file uh, transfer protocol in which the client connects to port number 21 that is perfect the server acknowledges then while acknowledging the server tells the client that if you need to have some kind of a data transfer try connecting to my data port which is greater than 1024 see we are not using port number 20 of the server on passive file transfer protocol wherein we mention that use any particular port which is greater than 1024 and we'll specifically mention uh, what is that port is for the client so that the client will initiate even the data connection and then the server will respond back okay so first let us see the pass uh, sorry the active file trans transfer protocol in action okay i have a small linux box out here running inside a vmware okay and the ftp server is listening on it okay port number 21 and its ip is 10.2.0.128 all right so let me minimize this thing out to make this even more clear i want to capture the traffic using wireshark i'm going to capture it on this particular interface i'm going to click on this particular stuff uh okay it's already capturing right now yeah so i'm going to go here okay and uh, i'm going to type in ftp hyphen d is for debugging and uh, i'm going to give in that particular ip okay first we are going to see the active file transfer protocol once i hit on enter then it's asking for the username which is dsl and password password since ftp is a clear text protocol I should be able to see the password there so then I'm going to hit on ls for listing the files in the FTP server then I'm going to quit out of this okay so once quitted I'm going to stop this so that we can analyze the data over here so first let me go up to the very top so there there are a total of 41 packets so we'll go through all the important packets which we need over here okay so this particular stuff of 10 2 0 1 is my ip and uh, saw this this is the ftp server uh, don't look at this particular ip of 127 which is localhost see the destination is 10 2 0 128 over here 10 2 0 128 this is the ftp server's ip okay the first connection goes from my client to the destination which is ftp server okay which is the sin flag then the synac comes through then my act goes through this is the tcp three-way handshake after which the ftp tells that okay i want you to supply the user uh, username okay it's requesting for the uh, user command uh, so i type in the word dsl which is the